Chevy dealers of the Ozarks. I'd like to welcome you to tonight's State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Tournament Awards Banquet. Chevy dealers of the Ozarks, proud sponsors of Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball. Well, what a year the Valley had in 1995. The conference race was tighter than ever as six NBC schools had a shot at the regular season title only two weeks from season's end. Every game during the season was a key game, and it'll be no different this weekend as eight teams vie for a spot in the 1995 NCAA National Championship. Well, if the highly competitive regular season is any indication, Valley fans are in for a real treat. Southwest Missouri State claimed the league regular season title its sixth straight. But Creighton, Drake, Southern Illinois, and Wichita State battled for that top spot all season long. Upperclassmen stepped to the forefront for NBC teams. And the play of first-year players displayed the promise of great things ahead for the nation's oldest athletic conference west of the Mississippi River. This year, State Farm Insurance came aboard as the Valley's first ever title sponsor for the women's tournament. And State Farm couldn't have picked a better time to join forces with the NBC. The NBC tournament has grown in each of the past five years, setting attendance records each year. Last year's championship game between Creighton and Southwest Missouri State set an all-time high of 8,820 rabid fans. During the regular season, fans in the Valley turned out in record numbers as the Lady Bears averaged more than 7,000 fans this year, while Drake had more than 2,000 and Illinois State more than 1,000. Several NBC schools had more than 2,000 fans at home games this year. And now let's take a look at the players who are largely responsible for the current success and the promise of an even brighter future. As always, an important part of a student athlete's experience takes place off the court. The next five players were perhaps the Valley's best at doing both this past season. First team, academic all-conference selections, and they include Georgia Bottoms, a 5'11 sophomore forward from Indiana State. Becky Flynn, a 5'11 junior forward from Creighton. A 5'6 senior guard from Drake, Julie Ritgers. And there's Tricia Wakely, a 6'1 junior center from Drake. And rounding out this stellar group, 6'0 junior forward Melanie Ward from Illinois State. And now let's meet the All-Missouri Valley Conference first team and honorable mention selections. And those honorable mention choices include Tasha Barnett, a six-foot senior forward from Wichita State. Latanya Davis, a six-foot junior forward from the Lady Bears of Southwest Missouri State. Keisha McClendon, a sophomore guard from Southern Illinois at 5'5". Jenny Olson, a 6'4 senior center from Creighton. Julie Ritgers, a 5'6 senior guard from Drake and Anjanette Sumraw, a 5'10 senior forward from Southern Illinois. Now we'll take a look at the Valley's elite, the All-Missouri Valley Conference first team. And we'll start with Georgia Bottoms, a 5'11 sophomore forward from Indiana State. Georgia had 14 double-doubles this season, which ranked second in the league. And she had perhaps the single best performance this season with 36 points, 22 rebounds in a single game. Another powerful forward hails from Bradley. She's Carrie Kaufman, a six-foot senior. Kaufman led the league and ranked among national leaders with 20 double-doubles this season. She set a Bradley record with nearly 300 rebounds this year and a rebound average of 11.7 per game as highest in the league in more than a decade. Staying at the forward spot, Illinois State's Melanie Ward is one of only three players in the MBC to be among the league leaders in five categories. The six-foot junior forward became just the 16th Lady Redbird to score 1,000 career points, and she's only the fifth ISU junior to reach that 1,000-point plateau. Another forward with great skills is Creighton's Becky Flynn. At 5'11", Flynn is the only player in the Valley to rank in the top 10 in scoring, rebounding, assists, and steals. She was the 1994 NBC Defensive Player of the Year and will probably become the Valley's all-time steals leader in the early part of next season. The final forward among the first-team honorees is Drake's Christy Kinney, 
The 5'11 senior forward leads the league in field goal percentage and ranks third in the nation with a phenomenal 64.4% accuracy. She ranks eighth at Drake in career scoring with 1,501 points. Kinney scored in double figures in 24 of Drake's 26 games so far this season. Moving to the backcourt, one of the most exciting players in the league is 5'6 junior guard Kim Evans from Wichita State. Evans almost single-handedly defeated Drake in Des Moines as she scored a career-high 33 points and tied a Wichita State record with six three-point goals. She led the Shockers with 20 double-figure scoring games this season. Another lightning-quick guard is Nikki Gilmore of Southern Illinois. Gilmore, a 5'5 junior, helped SIU to its late season surge, starting 15 of SIU's conference games. She led the league with 20 games scored in double figures and was the Saluki's top scorer 10 times. The league's leading scorer hails from Indiana State. She's Amy Walker, a 5'6 senior guard who became just the third league player on record to record a triple-double when she notched 13 points, 10 rebounds, and had 10 assists in the same game earlier this year. The durable player started every game of her four-year career and scored in double figures in all 26 of the Sycamores' contest this season. Moving inside, we'll find the league's best centers. One is from Southwest Missouri State, Charity Longstreth. A 6'1 junior has been SMSU's go-to player on offense this season, averaging a team-high 14.3 points per game. She notched her career high with 28 points in a come-from-behind victory at Wichita State. And last, but certainly not least, is Drake center Tricia Waitley. The 6'1 junior earned Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week honors four times this season and enters the State Farm MVC tournament with nine straight field goals without a miss. She set a NAP center record last week with 17 rebounds against Illinois State, and she holds the Missouri Valley Conference tournament record for rebounds with 23 against the Salukis last year in a first-round game. Now let's move on to the individual player awards. First, the Defensive Player of the Year. Coaches will tell you that you can't win without good defense, so you might imagine that picking the league's top defensive player would be a difficult task. And it was. Several players received votes for Defensive Player of the Year. The one who finished with the most tallies, Keisha McClendon of Southern Illinois, the MVC steals leader, ranked seventh in the nation. McClendon's 107 steals this year broke a Saluki's record that has stood for 15 years. A 5'5 sophomore guard, she's the only SIU player to start every game this year. The Outstanding Freshman Award and Newcomer of the Year Award was a battle between two freshmen, Southwest Missouri State's Lisa Davies and Southern Illinois' Carrie Hassel. And the winner, SIU's Hassel. The 5'8 freshman scored in double figures in 20 games, including her last 10 contests. She hit an exciting three-pointer at the end of regulation to force overtime in the MVC regular season title game last week at Springfield. Hassel hit at least one three-pointer in every game. Now joining her on the all-newcomer team are the aforementioned Davies, a 5'11 freshman forward, Darcy Reddenball, 5'7 freshman forward from Indiana State, Dimity Taylor, a 5'10 sophomore guard from Evansville, and Corrine Vossel, a 5'11 freshman forward from Illinois State. And now for the player of the year. It was a tremendously close vote. The edge goes to Drake's Christy Kinney. A preseason first-team All-Missouri Valley Conference selection, Kinney had seven games this year with 20 or more points and had five double-doubles. Perhaps her best all-around game of the year came against Wichita State when she poured in 32 points with 15 rebounds and six assists. She's one of just 12 players in league history to score more than 1,500 career points. Christy Kinney, just one of the many stars who will shine this weekend during the State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Tournament in Springfield, Missouri. It's March Gladness as the weekend's champions will represent the Missouri Valley Conference in the NCAA Tournament next week. But the ladies aren't the only ones being recognized tonight. Later on in this program, we'll recognize one of the eight Missouri Valley Conference coaches in attendance tonight as this year's Rawlings Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year. For the Missouri Valley Conference, this is Ned Reynolds from KY3 Television's